This tutorial is an introduction to Academic Search Complete. To find Academic Search Complete on the library's webpage, place your cursor over Find Resources on the left side of the screen. Then click on the Databases by Subject option. On the page that opens up, click on the General Category. Then select Academic Search Complete. This is the basic search screen. If you want to use databases from off campus, you'll be asked for a username and password. Enter your Titan Live username and password, and then you can use the database. You can limit search results to complete articles by checking the full text box in the Limit Your Results section. If your instructor requires you to use articles from research journals, check the scholarly journals limit. If you want to find magazine or newspaper articles, leave this box unchecked. There are several other ways available to limit the search listed below. We can begin a search in this box near the top of the screen by typing in search terms combined with a capital AND. This is a default search setting based on Boolean algebra. The capitalized AND is one search operator you can use. By combining terms with AND, we're telling the database to look for sets of information that overlap. Here's an example. You can use a capitalized OR between terms to broaden a search. Here's an example. In the next example, we will use a phrase. I always put phrases or personal names in quotes. In this example, we will use not combined with other search operators to restrict a term from search results. So we put Civil War in quotes because it's a phrase, and we've combined that with battles to find information about Civil War battles, but not the Battle of Gettysburg. Another tool that is built into Academic Search Complete is truncation. Adding an asterisk to the end of a root word will find all forms of that root word. This is an example. So this will find dog and dogs along with the other key keyword. Now we're going to do a basic search with this statement. We've already selected full text and scholarly journal limit, so we're going to click on search. And we have 44 results. Over on the right side of the screen, there's a news section, and you may see information here from news wires as well as news from the web and related images, all related to the keywords that we typed in here. So you may want to check these out as well. On the left side of the screen, we have several ways to limit the search. I'm going to use the subject limit. And if you use any of these limits below the publication date limit, make sure that you click on Show More to see everything that's available. And just make your selections by clicking these little boxes.
and then click on the update button when you've done that. And another limit that's very helpful is the publication date limit. So we're going to slide this bar across the screen and look at some more recent articles. And now we have 15 articles. Now as you look through your results list after you've applied some limits, uh, the title of the article, sometimes it's going to be very evident what the article is about just by the title. If you're not quite sure what the article is about, you can hover over this little magnifying glass on the right side of the screen for each article, and that will open up an abstract that summarizes the article for you. So we're going to open up one of these articles by clicking on the full text link. And this is a PDF format article. Over on the right, we've got a citation tool that's built into the database. And if we click on that little page, the citation tool will come up. And just make sure that you scroll down to the citation format you're supposed to use for your class. And then you can copy that and place that within your document if you wind up using this article. I'm going to click on this X in the top right corner to close the citation tool. You can also elect to print or email the article to yourself. And since this is a, a PDF format article, uh, we've got this hovering PDF toolbar down here at the bottom and you can save the PDF to a, a drive. In all of these options you have the option of including the citation along with the complete article. If I go to the print command for instance on the right we just need to remember to click on this little circle beside of citation format and don't forget to use the drop down arrow and select the proper citation format and then click on print and that will give you the complete article and the complete citation. So we're going to close the print tool here in the top right corner and then on the left we're going to click on result list and go back to our results. Now when we first got to this set of results a minute ago you may have realized uh, over on the right there's a little blue folder beside of every article. Uh, this is a folder option that allows you to grab several articles at a time and then either print or email or save those to drive as a group and I'll show you how that works. Uh, if you click on the little blue envelope, once you click on the first one this folder option becomes active and you can add additional articles to that folder and then when you have done so you can go to folder view either here on the right or up at the top of the screen. And once you're at the folder view page, you can either check this box to select all articles or just check some boxes individually. And then go to the right side of the screen and choose your option as far as printing or saving to a drive or whatever. Uh, so that's just a way of managing your research. Um, and grabbing several things at a time. Uh, you also have the option if you want to to actually create a folder account. Uh, if you go to the top of the screen there's a link called sign in and there's an account called my EBSCO host and that will able, enable you to use that folder option and keep things over time in an account and you can add more articles to that as time goes on and uh, log back in later and print some out or email them to yourself or whatever. And uh, the create a new account link is right here if you want to do that. So we're going to go back and then back again and we're back at our results page. Uh, we're going to look at advanced search now for a minute. So up in the top left corner, we're going to click on this advanced search link. And uh, anytime you go to advanced search after you've been doing some basic searching, it's going to retain your previous search in this field. So we're just going to delete that. 
advanced search gives you a lot more options over your search and ways to control your results. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is there's several fields here and you can use these drop down arrows to change your search operators. You can use this plus sign to add additional search fields if you want to or you can use the minus to delete some of those. And then on the right you've got a drop down arrow that lets you dictate where you want to look for these terms within the citation record as you do the research. So we're going to put some search terms in here. And we're going to select the full text limit a little further down the screen and the peer-reviewed limit for research journal articles. And if you wanted to, you could also dictate which publication these articles would come from. If you know that a subject is covered well by a particular journal or newspaper or whatever, you can write the name of that publication in there. And again, just like the basic search, there are several other ways to restrict your search down below here. So uh, with these selections, we're going to click on search. And we found 166 articles. And this time over on the right, we've got some related articles listed under news wires and web news. So you could check those out if you wanted to. So this time on the left side of the screen, the first thing I'm going to do is limit results to uh, a more recent publication date. So we're going to go up to 2005. And then we're going to use a geography limit. And we're going to look at this phenomena as it applies to the United States and states within the United States. And then we're going to click on the update button. And now we're down to 29 articles, which is a more reasonable number of articles. So you can see either with the basic or advanced search, there are several options to limit results and refine results uh, once you get to the results screen. Uh, it's easy to print, to email, or save to a drive, and it's easy to grab the citation along with the complete article. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. You can view some of our other tutorials on GTCC Library's YouTube channel. Please contact GTCC Library staff if you have questions about research or library services.